Bien, estamos en clase ejecutiva eh, haciendo un programa muy interesante sobre Turquía, negocios con Turquía. Y Joe, uh, you want to ask something. Mr. Ambassador, uh, the commercial business relationship between Turkey and Argentina, how's it going? Well, it has uh, increased, almost double. Uh, we have a volume uh, of uh, close to 500 and something uh, million dollars. Uh, a it used to be like that. It is increasing because uh, right now I think uh, the figures are around 300 and something, uh, 365 uh, million dollars uh, exports from Argentina to Turkey and 150 from uh, Turkey to uh, Argentina. Uh, we have uh, investments of almost $70 million dollars in Argentina, uh, and also we are expecting some Argentinian investments in Turkey mm. too, especially in the agricultural, agribusiness as we uh, call it, where Argentina has a natural edge. And uh, I, I think the potential is almost double this amount. Uh, to double that figure? Double that figure. In, 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 I mean, in what time? I think we can uh, reach mm. this. Of course, the problem is the world economic yeah. crisis. But if uh, there were no negative effects of this crisis, we would have reached it in two or three years. Mr. Ambassador, what do you consider the best ways for Argentina to attract more investments from Turkey? Um, Turkey... Uh, is ready to invest in uh, Argentina and we have the necessary uh, legal infrastructure because we have all the agreements but one of the difficulties has been distance uh, the second thing has been uh, you know when you invest in Argentina you should have also a natural market around Argentina because that is one of the important things you either will sell your products here or around Argentina. That is one of the main reasons why a business would uh, uh, invest. There has been some difficulties in that sense because there are still certain barriers, non-tariff barriers and tariff barriers in South uh, America. If we can get rid of these barriers, I think Argentina can uh, attract much more investment Uh, from Turkey. And, and besides, uh, which Turkish economic sectors could or should Argentines invest in? I would uh, very much uh, recommend the agricultural industry because Argentina has an edge uh, in terms of uh, gene research regarding uh, um, our agriculture and at the same time running certain agricultural businesses and agri uh, industry. Uh, these are areas where Argentina is uh, very experienced and, I, and we think uh, because of the vast opportunities in Turkey, especially what we call the GAP project in Southeast Turkey, which is an enormous land which has been opened to irrigated uh, uh, agriculture, there we would very much wish to have Argentines uh, help us with the, uh, the uh, area where they are very strong. If I may, um, one of the real uh, successes of the Turkish government really has been opening up with the Armenian question. We saw the Turkish president visit and actually attend a football game. I'm sure the Argentines would be very... Together. Together. They, they attended a football game between Turkey and Armenia. What are your impressions on the future of that relationship? Turkey was one of the first countries to recognize Armenia after the Soviet Union. Uh, and Turkey uh, has given a lot of importance, attached a lot of importance to its relations with Armenia. We invited Armenia to the Black Sea Economic uh, Cooperation area and Armenia ha now has an ambassador in Istanbul within the Black Sea Economic Cooperation Organization. And we are looking forward to much closer relations with uh, Armenia. But we have to also keep in mind 
that there are some regional factors involved. What are those regional factors? There is a, a problem between Azerbaijan and Armenia. This has to be solved. And I think both countries are working very uh, uh, well to solve these uh, uh, differences. And then, of course, there are other uh, rivalries in the area which have nothing to do with Turkey or Armenia, but they affect us. And I think those have to be, in one way or another, balanced. At this time, we have close to 60, 65,000 Armenians with Armenian passports working in Turkey. So I think the relations are improving. Uh, if we can uh, achieve certain confidence building uh, measures whereby both countries recognize each other as they are and uh, not try to impose uh, certain rules and regulations on each other, I, I think we will be able to improve the relations for the future. Uh, coming back to Argentina, what do Turkish people know about Argentina? Uh, first of all, in our um, secondary school syllabus, you have to learn everything about Argentina. It is one of the required areas that you have to study. So why? It is interesting. In geography, yeah. we learn, uh, we uh, study classical geography. It is not, sorry, it is not because of the beer. It is not because, <laughs> it is also, it has something to do with the beer, it, yeah. but after the secondary education, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, first of all, almost everybody in Turkey knows where Argentina is because we have a good sense of geography. And I think they know about the main cities uh, and also the neighbors, what uh, Argentina produces, and something about the history of Argentina. And too. the soccer, perhaps? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, when you graduate from the secondary school, I think the most important thing is football. Uh, I don't want to use the American terminology for it because it, it's tur in Turkey it is football, football. it's football here. <laughs> Uh, there has been a lot of Argentinian players who have played in Turkish uh, football uh, clubs. So um, it is a very interesting uh, to uh, know that uh, they are very well known. Uh, Boca is very well known, River Plata is very known. Everybody knows the clubs and also the football players. Uh, tango is very popular. In Turkey, in almost all the weddings, the first dance is also always tango. I don't know where the tradition comes from, but this is the first music which is played in a, <laughs> during Sorry, a wedding. Sorry, between us, between us. <laughs> Do you dance tango? Of course. <laughs> that was one of the we reasons are, why I came to Argentina. <laughs> uh, we have to go to a break again, and then we are going to ask you about the, the current situation, the economic current situation mm -hmm. of the world. Eh, nos vamos a ir un corte para volver con el grandioso finia, final perdón, de este grandioso programa que es clase ejecutiva.